Hello everyone, it's time for Phase 5 Phonics with me, Miss Bunny. To take part today, we're going to need a lined piece of paper and a pencil. Can you pause the video, collect the resources you need and then click play. Let's start. We're going to recall all of our Phase 2, 3 and 5 sounds. Can you say them as quickly and clearly as possible? If you need any more thinking time, you can click pause at any point and then play to continue. Do you remember? We're using our sounds now, not our letter names. So this is A. Ah. Do you remember how to say this trigraph? It's your. Sometimes I remember it by saying your hard to say. So it must be your. Do you remember we mastered this digraph yesterday? It's the digraph ow. Excellent work. Now we're going to revise and revisit our common exception words. These are words that are very common. That means that we read them and write them lots. Now that we've recalled our previous phonic learning, let's learn something new today. We're going to learn a new common exception word and a new digraph. Our new common exception word is the word out. Can you repeat this word after me? Out. Out. We're going to use our phonics that we already know 
to help us with this word. So let's sound it out and blend it and spot those phonic clues. I can see a digraph at the start, a digraph that we have recently learnt. Out, out. <gasps> are there any tricky parts? There are no longer any tricky parts in this word because we have learnt the digraph, ow. So we can just remember and use our sounds that this is the common exception word, out. Let's take a look at today's new graphing. It is a digraph that can make two different phonemes. It can make the oo sound and it can also make the u sound in a word. Let's practice forming this digraph. Do you know which letter families these letters belong to? The E is a curly caterpillar letter. Let's practice forming it in the air. Put your finger on the green dots and go up, around and down. One more time. Up, around and down. Do you know which letter family the W belongs to? Ah, it's a zigzag monster letter. This is a fun one to write. Let's put our finger on the green dot. Are you ready? Down, up, down, up and flick. One more time. Down, up, down, up and flick. Now, can you get your piece of paper and your pencil ready? Are you sat in a good writing position? Do you have one hand resting on your page to keep it still? Excellent. Now, follow my instruction. We're going to do the curly caterpillar E first. Ready? We're going to go up, around and down. And now the W, so make sure the tip of your pencil is in between two lines on your paper. Ready? Down, up, down, up and flip. Now, pause the video and take your time to really master the formation of these two letters and then click play once you've done that. I have a graphing quiz for you now. I wonder, can you write down all of the graphing representations you know for the phoneme oo and you? How many different ways can you write that sound? U and U. Pause the video and click play once you've written your ideas. Take a look at the graphemes in the red box. We already know that two O's can make an U sound, don't we? And we also already know that U and E make an U or U phoneme. It is time for us to practice reading words that have the oo and u sound in them. Look at these six words. What do you notice about the position of the oo and u digraph in each of these words? It is usually at the end of a word. I would like you to pause the video and read each of these words, then click play once you've done it. Have you read all of the words? The first word was new, the next was stew, then flew, through, Andrew. Did you notice the capital letter at the beginning of Andrew? That's because it's a proper noun, isn't it? It's a person's name. And the last word was nephew. The nephew is a son of someone's brother or sister. And nephew has the digraph f that we were practicing previously. Can you help me to practice writing some oo and u words? Okay, the first word is the word screw. 
This has the oo phoneme in it. Let's stretch it out together. S, k, r, oo, screw. And put it on your phoning fingers. S, k, r, oo, screw. How many phonemes are there in that word? Can you write down the graphing to represent each one? Screw. Do you know what that creature is in the next picture? It's a newt. Let's stretch out the word newt. N-U-T, newt. And put it on your phoning fingers. N-U-T, newt. Can you hear the U phoneme in this word? Can you write it down? Remember to add your sound buttons to help you to remember where those digraphs are in the words. The last word is the word chewing. Chewing has the suffix ing on the end to show that it is happening now. Pause the video and write the word chewing and then click play once you've done that. We can apply our new learning now. A really good way of applying learning is by adding it to a sentence and reading that sentence, spotting the digraph. So before we begin reading this sentence, can you underline our new digraph with your finger? There's quite a few of them in this sentence, isn't there? It's also useful to spot any common exception words. Can you circle the common exception words in the air with your finger? Excellent! We're ready to read now. So pause this video and read the sentence three times and then click play. Well done for reading the sentence three times. That helps with our fluency. I bet you didn't need to sound it out so much on your third try. Let's read this together now. My nephew went out to chew stew with his newt. Well done for learning a new grapheme today that can make two phonemes. Gosh, we have had to work super hard today. I hope you are feeling really proud of yourselves. Bye everybody.